These are 17 tabs currently opened in my browser. Having to work with this many tabs is annoying because in order to find a particular tab, I have to click on each one of them. And it gets even more annoying when there are even more tabs. To solve this, I created an extension that automatically groups the tabs. There is no extra work needed from the user. In this example, we can see the first group is when I studied Electron. The second group is when I researched on the history for Anki. And the third group is when I was trying to solve a problem. I'm a computer science student and a solution came to mind the moment I imagined the interaction with tabs as a graph. Let's say I have four tabs opened. I'll move them in a circle so it's easier to draw the graph. And let's say I'm currently on YouTube and from the YouTube tab I go to the Twitter slash X tab. Here I'll have a one because I've moved once between the tabs. Then let's say I move from X to another X tab. This will have a one to it. Then let's say I go back from here to here. Then this will go from one to two. And you get the idea. And this will be the graph after a lot of usage. Now how will my solution figure out how to group these tabs based on how I've used them? The program will first label each tab with a unique label. Let's say the label is the color of each node. We will start by selecting a random node which represents a tab. For each node we will go through its neighbors. This node has four neighbors. For each of its neighbor labels it will add up the numbers between them. So for this one it will be an 8. There isn't another label like this one that is a neighbor to this one. So we'll leave it as an 8. For this label we only have a 4 between them and there isn't another red color between them. So we leave it as a 4, etc. Then we pick the label with the highest number. In our case it's this one. Now these are in a group, these two tabs. Now we go to another tab, let's say this one. Here all of its neighbors are the same label. No need to go through the numbers, it will be like them as well. Now let's say the next node is this one. Here the blue label has a 3 and a 4 so 7 and the green one has a 1 so it's blue again. And in the end all of them will be blue colors. But this was a simple example and there's a lot of interaction between all of the nodes. A more realistic example is this one where once again each node is a separate tab and the connection between them is when the user from one node goes to the other. You can see here how the user interacts more with some of the tabs. Let's say here the user is researching on something and here is for example his social media interactions. They don't combine much. The way they are grouped together the user will not need to leave this group. Look at here how only once he had to leave this group. The algorithm I am using is label propagation. To summarize I represent interacting with the tabs as a graph and to group the tabs together I am using an algorithm that tries to find communities. The more tabs you have the better the algorithm will work.